So I've got a week off university and as it's 2016 I thought the most appropriate thing to do was to come home and play FIFA 11 on my brand new flat screen television. Now I'm playing as England but obviously I'm a little bit sickened because that disgrace is still in the team. Ah, that's better. Brexit. Lots of people getting passionate about some truly bizarre things. In the last few months we've had blue passports, we've had fishing quotas and we've even had hair dryers. Now I can see where they're coming from. I mean, I used to be passionate about some really silly things when I was eight years old. And when I was eight years old, my favourite number was the number seven. And I really, really like the number seven. So much so that every one of my usernames had the number seven at the end of it. My favourite tourist attraction was the River Seven. And even for a while, I was a part of the Seventh Day Adventists. But there was a problem in my little world. And that was on the playground, I was seen as a second class citizen. Because all the glory hunting kids, their favourite number was the number nine. They were wrong, but they were entitled to that. And every day they used to mob up against me and say things like, our numbers divisible by three and good luck dividing your number by anything that isn't a one or itself your prime lord but then one day everything changed the Beano which incidentally is the only UK publication that doesn't have to make up its own readers wives they're all 100% true and sent in they published a joke and that joke was why six scared of seven because seven eight nine and on that day everything changed. I strolled into school a new man and I went up to the kids that bullied me and I started doing an eating gesture just to rile them up. I carried a little salt and pepper pot so I could throw it in their face and ask when was lunchtime because seven, eight, nine, you prick. I mean, it got so bad, in fact, there were a few fights and it got so bad, in fact, that the teachers and the dinner ladies, they got together and for a while they actually banned maths. When we, for the hour that we would have had maths, we actually just did full contact British Bulldog as that was deemed to be safer. I mean, looking back, it was around about this time that my dad had his affair and my parents split up, so I suppose it was just the little things that got me through.